Hi guys, welcome to another testing video. Today we're gonna to test carbon barrels again. We did this test about a year ago. We did an aluminum barrel test that failed at around 125 kilos. Then we took our rail carbon barrel up to 295 and it was way overkill. We're happy with that. It didn't break. I don't want pieces of shrapnel flying around here. Today we're gonna to do the same test again with the carbon. Reason being, we've had to change the fiber to another manufacturer. Long story, but we need to make sure it's the same as what we used to use or better. But anything over 250 is double that of aluminum. So let's do the test. First test is gonna be the old fiber we used to use. All pulling in a straight line. This is the same setup we did, if you recall, with our stainless versus spring steel wire. The direction of tension is downwards from the rail because that's the load it would take if it's in a gun. We also measured how much deflection we had that time. It was about three centimeters on both. I'm not worried about that here. I'm just worried about how far we can get it. Yep. A little bit of creaking. As you can see, this is an overkill. Another little creak. And there we're at 220. So we'll check it at that. Still perfectly straight. This is actually one of the end runs, bit of an off cut. And everything is still perfectly straight. And that held 220. Now let's test the new carbon. Exactly the same technique, exactly the same uh, manufacturing process, same epoxy all the same. Let's start tensioning. The specs show the carbon is exactly the same. That's 220. It's about a 15 mil deflection. We took the previous one in the previous video up to 290. Really scared of things fracture here and get airborne. Yeah, 250 ish, we've only got about 15 mils. I'm really happy with that. Back it off. So there you have it, the new carbon has about the same compression ratio as that of the old, exactly what the spec showed. We just came here to make sure it's the same. We don't want to run thousands of meters and find there's an issue down the line. So, so far, so good. We're still going to pressure test these, make sure that nothing changes in the fiber. So anybody got any questions, please add them below. Anything else you like us to test, please make suggestions. Hope you enjoyed that video.